these five minute timers are going to catch me out sort of chronic, you know. So there, look, see, it's dead easy, isn't it? You might as well just do the radius, do the radius one first before you do the normal. There. So example two says find the length of the tangents to the point eight five uh, on the circle there. Right, so let's have a look at this. So I know the center is two minus one, and I know the radius is four. Right. Okay. So what have I got then? So I've got a circle. It has a center at 2 minus 1. I have a point which is 8 comma 5, so it's up here somewhere. So there's the point, 8 comma 5. And I want the lengths of the tangents. So what you've got, I've got a tangent, I'm going to try and draw this tangent now. I can have two possible tangents there. Now they're going to be at right angles, so I can draw in a right angle. That's not quite a right angle, is it? That's pretty rubbish for a right angle, to be honest. Uh, let's try and get a right. You can you can draw a nice right angle in there, and you can draw a nice right angle in there. Now I know that the length of the radius is four. I know that. Now I'm going to be a bit sneaky. If I find the length from the centre to the point. I've got two sides of my triangle. So I'm going to find the length from 2 minus 1 to 8 comma 5. So the change in x is 6, the change in y is 6, don't mind putting a bracket around it, never mind. So that would be 6 root 2. So that's the length there, 6 root 2. There. I think. No. Okay. So now, if I just look at any of these, because I want this length, don't I? The length from there to there. Which is the same, these lengths are the same. But now, if you look, I've got two sides of the triangle. The hypotenuse is my 6 root 2. Or my, if you want to, you can see it as root 72. And the short side is 4, and this is a side of 1. So the length of my tangent will be the square root of my root 72 squared minus 4 squared. There. Which should give us uh, a root 56 which comes out as 2 root 14. And both them lengths are the same length. From there to there and there to there. There you go. That's all right, isn't it? That's quite nice. Uh, so it says, so what am I for? I've got plenty of time. So is it a tangent? So a line will be a tangent to a circle if, and it's not there, if it just touches. Now we can link that to the discriminant because I'm for like form a quadratic. So I've got time to just do like a couple of little quick, uh, pictures. So it could be a tangent like that. So b squared minus 4ac is zero. It could be not a tangent, so it could cross twice. In which case, b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, so we've got two crossing points. Or it could be that it misses completely, in which case b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. So I can use my discriminant to help me. Um, now I'm on to four minutes, so I'm not entirely certain I'll get this done in 45 seconds. So I might stop the vid there. Well, I will stop the 